Ja. Ik ben ook gek. Moet ik een Engels doen? Ja. Hallo, ik wil je zeggen dat mijn koi pond. Het was een experiment dat ik just wanted to see if I could get a body of water of about 7000 liters to filter effectively using a low power filter system. So I'll go into detail, but let me just show you what I've um, done. This is a vinyl dam lined with, uh, with a reinforcing mesh. And then the external filter is the IPC or the flow bin. So I'll just connect it with an inlet pipe and an outlet pipe back to the dam. And then insert, inside I've got uh, uh, oranges bags for oranges like plastic bags. So there's a big bag and then inside there's probably 20 or 30 bags that I've made into little balls and then put inside so there's maybe thousands of bags in there. There's a lot of them. And then how the filter works is so the water comes in here from the dam and then inside on the other side at the bottom if you can uh, just maybe see if you can look at this blue pipe this is an airlift so yeah I've got two air pumps or blower pumps so air comes down at this hose right into the bottom of the what I would call an injector nozzle where there's hundreds of holes in the blue pipe which brings the water and the air up into the top of this pipe. Here I sort of get rid of the, the, the air and then the water goes to a T-junction here. On the other side there's another air pump exactly the same way. So these two come together and then there's your inflow back into the dam. So the two air lifts return the water to the dam. And if you look at the flow here, I haven't measured it but um, there's, there's a big flow, it, it really flows very, very fast. If you consider that these pipes are uh, 100 millimeters, and look at the volume of water that comes in. In fact, you can see the, you know, the turbulence that it causes almost to the other side of the dam. So there's a big volume of water coming into the dam. And the nice thing about this is that the only power requirements are for these two little pumps. If you look at the back here, those are just cheap Chinese pumps and they are rated for uh, 40 liters per minute but then importantly 35 watt so I've measured and those are incorrect they are actually using 20, 20 watts each so I'm using 40 watts in total I've measured this with a with a watt meter that I've put on here so the whole system draws 40 watts of power and that's it there's no uh, sand filters, no swimming pool pumps. 40 watts runs the whole system. It's been going for maybe a year and a half now. If you look at the clarity of the water, you know, in my opinion, it's crystal clear. Um, my only maintenance here really is maybe once a week I, I add some water to uh, cover for evaporation. And maybe once a year, I've done it only once, I clean out the filter and uh, you know, clean the bags out. But really it's just um, keeping the, the water level up and feeding the fish. There's, there's almost no maintenance here. The fish that I've got inside are not anything special, there's a couple of big over there, the white ones, and then carps, you know, like dam carps, brown ones and black ones, and then annoyingly a lot of tilapias, which I can't see right now. Where are they? There they are. There's a lot of them, you know, like uh, 20 centimeter size tilapias. And what I'm, what I'm saying annoyingly is that they've bred the tilapias all over the show. There's hundreds of, maybe not hundreds, but many dozens of small ones, including a few that found their way into the filter. So if you look down here, you'll see them somewhere. There's a, you see 
Zumutung zu Nordsee ist auch ein bisschen. But what I did was, in terms of keeping the water warm, is what I've got here on the outside of the vinyl is a, a iserboard. Piece, but it looks like polystyrene. It's a high density polystyrene that I've just sort of bound with tie down straps around the dam. It also stands on the same material, so the bottom is also insulated. And uh, the year before I put this in, I had some water standing here in a, in a IBC flow. And I just wanted to see what the, what the temperature would go down to during the winter because, importantly, the the tilapia then like then like coal. So it went down to three degrees I think in one night. Which you know at that stage your tilapias are dead. So then when I put this in also it's getting to become very close to winter now. So right on top of the roof I've got a like a spool a roll of, of, of black pipe and that goes through this pump here that I put on a timer. And that worked very well last winter, so my temperature never went below 15, that's the lowest I saw. So there's no auxiliary heating apart from pumping some water for a couple of hours over the roof. Um, and my tilapia survived. Um, I've never tested the water as such. Uh, I don't know what the pH is or the ammonia and nitrate and nitrate levels, I've got no idea, I've never tested it. But I've only lost one fish that, uh, that jumped out one night, so it looks like they're very happy. They're all growing, they're multiplying like crazy. So, you know, for 40 watts, I think this was a huge success. Um, this was just an experiment to see if, you know, if the filtration works. And if you look at, at the, uh, the size of the fish, as compared to the volume of water, you know, according to the calculations, I'm overstocked. But still, you know, the water is beautifully clear. Um, so this seems to be working very well. One mistake that I made initially was I had this whole IBC flow in, inside. And the uh, rationale was to uh, eliminate all the plumbing. You know, so your filter sits inside. And that worked well for a, for a while, but the big issue is when, if you want to clean it out, then that's a mission. So uh, I took it out eventually when I cleaned it. And outside, you know, it takes up a little bit more space, but then two advantages. Number one, you, you, you add another thousand liters of water to the system. And then to clean it out, you just open the tap on the other side. So it's very, very simple to clean. And really, this system takes virtually no maintenance apart from once a week, I add a little bit of water uh, from a borehole. Uh, yeah, so this worked very well. My next one will be a permanent system. But uh, the fish are very happy, the water is brilliantly clean. And it takes up no time. So thanks for watching.